everyone today we will be discussing on the topic perspectives on information systems in the learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to describe how information systems components and organizational dimensions are working together in information systems we relate a set of interrelated components which works together to perform a particular task information system collects processes store and distributes information information to the various business uh, persons for their use in the future information systems also support decision making coordination and control where the people act on such information to provide a business rules a business etiquettes to business people here we differentiate information versus data what is data data are streams of raw facts and information is data shaped into meaningful form in this diagram data and information in the left hand side under the data so there are the raw data is collected from the different databases and our information system processes these data or shaped this data into meaningful information this is the example taken as a supermarket example where the customer purchases the items and the item names in the market so when the server collects this data raw data the server process through an information system and gives the meaningful information to the administrator so in the right hand side the meaningful information shows that atom number their description their unit sold and their year of date sales continuing information system there are three activities produce information organizations which are need for the information systems first one input captures raw data from organization or extend the raw data in the external environment processing converts raw data into meaningful form and output transfers processed information to people or activities that use it whenever information system takes input it always takes the input as a raw data from the organizational databases or from the organizational servers or from the external environment then the central process converts the raw data into meaningful form which is very useful for the business people and the business people or administrator takes the output that is transfers processed information to people or activities that use it in the information system feedback is very important part of a organization where we get the output return to appropriate members of organization to help evaluate or we can make a correct input stage at that information in the information systems we always store computer program we always have information system we always have different kind of information but in the infrastructures we different computer programs versus information system where computers and software are technical foundation and tools which is required for the information technology to generate an information system which are similar to the material and tools used to build a house this is very important diagram which shows a functions of an information system here we are showing all the components of the information system the first one is uh, component is input second is processing classify arrange calculate and third one is the output in this environment we give the example of the relationship between supplier and customer where organization follows a different kind of functions to generate an information systems in the input the organization collects a data from the organizational database or from the external environment 
where the raw data goes to for the central processing where the data is classified the data is arranged and the appropriate calculation is done at the information system in the centralized and then the final data that is meaningful data which are transferred to the output where output gets the feedback to the input where the data is appropriately used some stakeholders also use this processing data which are used for the future some competitors also use the feedback system where we get the feedback in the information system some regulatory agencies also use the kind of information system to provide a useful information to the business people in this diagram we shows the information systems which are more than computers because it divides a three factors one is organization second technology third management and in the centralized information systems use all these components to provide information to the business to the people to the external environment where organizations have a different kind of infrastructures where they use a people for different generation of different kind of information technology we use different kind of technology where information systems is generated management takes the decisions whether to provide a useful information to the business people or not so these are the main uh, information system components which are more than computers in the organizational dimensions of information system there are some hierarchy of authority responsibilities because they have different kind of responsibilities these hierarchies are in the senior management middle management operational management knowledge workers data workers production or service workers senior management are the people where actually takes the information from the organization and take the decision middle management are the managers which take the proper decisions which are useful for the business purpose operation management are the operational workers where operates on the data and make the analysis on the data knowledge workers are the expert systems where they make the analysis on the collected data data workers are the clerks where they manage the data which are required for the official purpose and production or service workers they give the product service information and which gives the services to the customers so the same we are using in the levels in the firm that is senior management middle management which can be scientist or knowledge workers operation management production and service workers data workers these levels are always there in the organizations to follow the organization policies to organization etiquettes to organization rules and the organization instructions where these people have their own responsibilities to follow the business rules after discussing so many things there are some questions we have to think on the first question is what are the three themes of an information systems answer management organizations and technology second question what are the three activities involved in the function of an information systems answer is input processing output in the organizational dimension there are separation of a business functions which are carried out by different department first one is sales and marketing produces sales and marketing of the generated product human resources defines the structure of a human required for processing the product finance accounting department gives the details of the account and finance which is required for organization manufacturing and production manufacture the product based on the policies and rules of the organization there are unique business processes which are generated in the different departments which are required for the organization there is a unique business culture among the different kind of departments among the different people which follows by processing all the business rules and etiquettes and organizational politics are there in the senior management and in the middle management which takes the decision 
for carrying out the information systems. These are the references I have referred for this topic. Thank you.